You want to sing a song with me while I play my cat piano? No, Jeffy. But Dad, I already got you a microphone. That's not a microphone. That's a razor. What's a razor? I use that to shave, Jeffy. Goddamn, bitch. You got a bush so big, you got to break out the power tools. I got a song about that. We don't want to hear a song, Jeffy. Turn off your cat piano and go to your room. Go. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush before it gets long and stinky. That's it, Jeffy. You are, you are grounded. How am I grounded, Daddy? I'm just speaking straight facts. Look at the hair on this thing. At least we know that the carpet matches the drapes. <laughs> Jeffy, put that out. Oh, there's someone at the door. Baby, just go, go wash his mouth out. Hello? Howdy, neighbor. Hucker dudes, what do you want? Well, I'm taking my wife on a date night to a fancy little restaurant called Outback Steakhouse. Ever heard of it? Really hard to get into. 45-minute wait with a reservation. Bloomin' onion to die for. Filet mignon melts in your mouth. I've been to Outback Steakhouse. Oh, I didn't know you could afford it. Father, why can't we go? Now, Timmy, what did you get on your report card? A B. A B? Well, I B positive you're not going to Outback Steakhouse. Aww. Anyway, Marvin, I was seeing if you'd watch the tots for us. The last babysitter got fired for sleeping on the job. Now, Hank, tell him where she was caught sleeping. In bed with me. <laughs> that's right, you cheating bastard. Yeah, that's why I'm taking her to Outback Steakhouse. I gotta apologize somehow. Whew, it's not enough. Oh, come on, honey. I told you you could get two appetizers just as long as one of them's that blooming onion. Well, here we have a list of huck do's and don'ts for you. Yeah, it's like an instruction manual for kids. Sometimes you just want to take the batteries out, huh, Marvin? <laughs> well, I'm really busy. Here you go! Yeah, phone number's on the back. See you later. I didn't say yes. <sighs> Come inside, kids. <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the Hucker Doos. They want us to watch their kids. And you said yes? They didn't give me a choice. Come on, Daddy. You know Mommy wanted to spend some alone time with you. That's why she shaved her bush. So what are your names? Hello, ma'am. My name is Timmy. And I'm Susie. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. What do you two do for fun? Well, we follow a very strict schedule. First, we practice our instruments. I play the violin. And I play piano. Then we have our vocal lessons. la 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 <laughs> Susie needs a few more lessons. Then we take a bath together to save on water. Then we go to bed at 8 p.m. sharp. <laughs> I hate my life. Are you kids hungry? Well, we are. But our mother packed us some romaine lettuce to nibble on in case we do get hungry. <laughs> Kill me. Okay, you kids are not eating romaine lettuce for dinner. I'm going to get Chef you to make them something else. And I'm not going to follow your mom's stupid list because I've raised my own son and he turned out fine. I'm a shithead. All right, Jeffy, take them to your room while we cook dinner and show them your stuff. All right, guys, come to my room. I'm going to show you my shit. All right, guys, this is my playroom. That's my shit. Wow, you have so many toys. Our parents don't let us have toys. <laughs> Seriously, kill me. Do you guys want to see my mommy's favorite toy? Sure. It's a dildo. What is a dildo? Well, she uses it to relieve stress, and it smells like pickles. But I'm still confused. What is a dildo? Well, it's dough that smells like dill pickles. Here, play with it. Wow, thanks, Jeffy. <laughs> it's so squishy and slimy and... Ew, pickles! I want to try. I want to see what it tastes like. Okay, here, Susie. Ew, it tastes like pickles! <laughs> wow, Jeffy, thanks for letting me and my little sister play with your mom's dildo. I can't wait to tell my parents. Yeah, it's pretty fun, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm, this looks so delicious. Ooh, I'm gonna be a fat ass tonight. Hey, Chef PP, what are you cooking for dinner? My signature double donut double cheeseburger and double donut chicken sandwich. Is that a McDonald's double cheeseburger in between two Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah, but I'm the first one to think of it. Isn't that a little unhealthy? Yeah, but it's Unhealthy Wednesday. And on Unhealthy Wednesdays, we make bad decisions and eat bad food. All because my parents got a divorce on a Wednesday. And I'll never forget about it. <laughs> well, I'm babysitting two kids. Can you make two more of these donut double cheeseburgers? Oh, yeah, you got it. Let me get on it. Whoa, it's so stretchy. And long. All right, kids, it's time for dinner. Oh, hey, Mr. Marvin. We're having a blast playing with your wife's dildo. What? It tastes horrible, though. What, Jenny, what are they talking about? This day, it's dildo. What? Where'd you find this? I found it at Mommy's bedside table. It was right next to the big rubber dick. Well, well, Jeffy, don't play with this near the carpet. I don't want it to stain anything. All right, kids, come downstairs. It's time for dinner. All right, kids, here's your dinner. Wow, this looks really unhealthy. And here's some ice cream to dip your burgers in. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of sugar in that drink. We're not allowed to have sugar. Oh, come on, Timmy. We already broke one rule today. We played with that lady's dildo. You're right, and it smelled like pickles. Ew. What the fuck? You know what? I don't even want to know. 
Come on, kids, just eat your food. Are you sure we shouldn't just munch on this romaine lettuce our mother gave us? No, you need to eat some new food. Your parents are lame and they make you eat a bunch of healthy stuff. Sometimes it's good to eat unhealthy food. Well, I guess you're right. Hey, Daddy, where's mine? Uh, you got these green beans, Jeffy. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. They get the fun food and I get these green beans. Well, you want to know what I think about your green beans? Yeah! Oh, Jeffy, you go to your room! Planned on it! I am so sorry about him doing that. Oh, it's all right. Our parents fight all the time. Now for me to try this food. Uh. Woo! Holy shit! Susie, you gotta try this stuff! It's like crack! I'm gonna try this monster energy drink! Do it, 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 do it! Oh, I Me too! You wanna run around and have some break stuff? Yeah! Woo! Don't run around and break stuff! Oh my god, what'd I do? Woo! Susie, look at all these plates! Let's do what Jeffy did! and breaking things. What? I thought they were supposed to be nice. They're supposed to be. Well, what did you do? I just fed them dinner. What did you feed them? A donut double cheeseburger and a monster energy drink. Well, you should have fed them green beans like you tried to do me, you bald, ugly douche. Marvin, where's that list they gave you? We don't need this stupid list. It's just a bunch of dumb stuff. Marvin, right here it says don't drink soda and don't eat candy. Well, I didn't give them soda or candy. I gave them an energy drink and I gave them donuts. Marvin, that's even well, look, they're already breaking like four of the rules because they've ran around the house and they've been breaking things. I'm jumping on the couch! I'm watching TV! Okay, now they've broken all the rules. What are we going to do? I don't know, Marvin. Oh, yeah, I remember. They said they left the number on the back of the paper, so I'm going to call the dad. Okay, I got my phone. It's ringing. Hey, howdy, hey. It's Hank. Hey, listen, Hank, it's an emergency. You need to come back. How's it going? It's not going good. Your kids are running around the house and they're breaking things. Fantastic. No, it's not fantastic. They're breaking every single one of your hucker rules. Is that right? Yes, come back right now. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's not really me. It's my entry machine for Hank Huckerdoo. Please leave a message after the lawnmower. <laughs> I got his voicemail. Uh, Marvin, there's a kid about to jump off the balcony. Hey, Susie, look, I'm a chicken. Watch me fly. <laughs> but chickens can't fly. This one can. Woo! Okay, I wrapped your broken leg in a paper towel because we don't have a cast. And we don't want to call a doctor because we don't want your parents knowing you broke your leg. Gee whiz, I can't believe I got that crazy over a little bit of sugar. I guess that's why it's a hucker don't. <laughs> My dad's going to kill me. Your dad's not going to kill you because he's not going to find out about this. Marvin, how are we going to hide a broken leg? Because when they get back, he's going to take the paper towel off his leg, he's going to hop over to his house, and he's going to act like he falls down the stairs, and that's how he breaks his leg. Uh, that would be lying, and lying is a hucker don't. Well, you already broke all the other Hucker don't, so you're gonna do one more, or I'm gonna tell your parents about all the stuff you did. Yes, sir. So, Jeffy, rumpus time is over. You're gonna take these kids to your room, and you're not gonna let them leave, okay? Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to my room again. You stay in that room, and if you leave, I'm telling your parents. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, guys, you gotta stay in my room. My daddy said so. Ooh, can I play with your cat piano? Sure, just don't break it. I'm gonna play Roblox on my computer, but first, I'm gonna watch this video. Wow, what are those two girls doing? They're naked and wrestling? Yeah, something like that. Is there a video of two guys doing that too? Is is that a thing? Can you look that up? Ah, oh! oh! I'm so sorry, I broke your cat piano! You bitch! Oh! oh my god, you hit my sister with a baseball bat! What's wrong with you? You want some too? Why would you do that? Because she broke my shit! Oh my god, she's unconscious! Do you think she's dead? Hopefully! You murderer! Alright, everyone calm down, stop yelling. Here's the plan. When your parents get back, we're gonna put sunglasses on her and we're gonna pretend she's still conscious, okay? Oh, like we can at Bernie's? Yeah, just like that. And if you don't do that, I'm gonna tell your parents that you guys broke all these rules. I still think we should tell the truth. Yeah, I agree, Marvin. <laughs> They're here! You know, we're gonna do my plan! Grab some sunglasses, go! Hello! Howdy, Marvin! We're just getting back from the old Outback Steakhouse. How was it? Oh, it was delicious. The blooming onion was crispy. And guess who works there part-time as a waitress? The babysitter! 
Canada. Yeah, I gave her a big tip. For the second time today. And then I gave her some cash. Again, for the second time today. Yeah, so Marvin, how are the old kids? Uh, they're upstairs reading a book. Oh, what piece of literature? Uh... A math book. Oh, Susie does need to work on her math. Yeah, she does. But uh, we'll just grab our kids and be on our way, Marvin. Well, no, no. If you want them to stay the night for, like, a month, they can. Yeah, no can do. See, it's 8.01, so it's past the bedtime. And also, we still got to do our family prayer, so we'll just grab the old tater tots and be on our way. Uh, okay. So your kids are in here, but meet my wife, Rose. Oh, does your husband cheat on you, too? Oh, honey, stop it. Why don't you fetch me a toothpick? I think I got some blooming onions stuck in my teeth. Why don't you have the waitress get it out with her tongue? You know, I think I'm right. Well, kids, it's time for you to go home, so go with your parents. Susie, why are you slouching? Oh, uh, Susie isn't slouching. She's, uh, practicing for a limbo competition. Oh, well, you know, your mother was a ten-time limbo champion. Yep, why do you think we got two kids? Your mother sure knows how to Bend it over. Tell me, what'd you do today? Oh, we had a lot of fun. We got to play with Mr. Marvin's wife's dildo. Man, was it stinky and slimy. Susie fit the whole thing in her mouth, but she spit it out because it tasted like pickles. <laughs> Come on, kids, we're getting out of here. We're going home. This house is sick, sick. What's wrong, Mother? It was just a dildo. Shut up. Get your ass home. We're going. Marvin, don't you ever speak to my family ever again. You don't understand. It wasn't a real dildo. It was like a silly putty. I don't care what type of sick thoughts you have. Just keep them away from me and my family. Hey, before you leave, your daughter has a concussion and your son has a broken leg. What? Subscribe and click like and comment with Veal I shall uh, do for the do next. Let's have a good day. Have a good, good Sunday. Peace.